The Guilty Grape is a wine-centered lifestyle brand. It's for tastemakers, it's for trendsetters, it's for people who really want to be involved in the culture. When I think about our rosé, it's flirty, yes. it's floral, it's summertime, it's, it's fun. The Guilty Grape came about, we were sitting together. Mm -hmm. It was a late night kind of like grinding, mm -hmm. processing session. Bouncing off of each other. Mm -hmm. Then and it was like a aha moment. moment like and a we just bulb. looked at each other. And, and we were the, like, the Guilty, guilty grape. grape, that's it. We're not very like straight laced people, there's yeah. a little edge with the sweetness you yeah. see, so we wanted to make sure the name really embodied who we, we were. were. It's, it's us, yeah. it, it ties us together. together. Nicole is confident, I think. Oh, that was nice. She's bossy. <laughs> Even though we're 55 minutes apart, it's, mm -hmm still like kind of a older sister feeling that happens even mm -hmm. though we're twins, you know, same day, same everything. I am more like have those difficult conversations when it comes to price points and um, legalities and things of that nature. And she stays I more on the, the creative side, like yeah. our logo and the colors. And this is our, how I want our the look or our makeup. Look, yeah, and I want the, our look to be a certain way and our execution. It just kind of just, it does, you know, it does balance out. Yeah. I think we're very similar in that we both worked in um, the retail space and operations and I just, I love being a customer service base and I love working with people, people. and being a part of, you know, um, development and things like that, but I just was not happy with the day in and day yeah, out. Yeah, the day in and day out of hustling for someone else. Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm going to be stressed out and if I'm going to be making money every day and getting up and hustling, I want to do it for myself. It wasn't a work-life balance. It was always on call, always dealing with a problem. And why am I dealing with other people's problems when I can deal with my own? So that was my point of like, time to roll. I felt it was enough was enough. And we just came home, you know, we lived together and we were like, it's time no. to go. It's like I took the first mm -hmm. jump and then she took the second. Mm -hmm. And we were like, we're, we're done. Like yeah. we can't do it anymore. We, what is our vision? We've always been creative people ever since we were little. It like, wasn't a plan, we just leaked. Yeah, it it was, it, we just jumped. It wasn't like, oh, in three months we're leaving. No. no. <laughs> we're doing it now, yeah. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> It took so long for us to get to this point, and mm -hmm. it was just amazing that we finally saw like our baby, our child, our brand mm -hmm. come to life. Mm -hmm. And it, I like I started tearing up because it's like all the hard work. And I'm not the crier, and I was definitely <laughs> choking. No, I'm, I'm more the emotional one. We always kind of use the phrase the new American wine drinker. Yeah. They're that new mm -hmm. audience that we're seeking and going after the ones that have been left out. Yeah. So the sexy, the mm -hmm. chic, you know, the ones that bring a little bit of flavor yeah. to, you know, life. We are the wine industry, and I don't think people really embody that and give it it's just it's moment and we want to have we want to be that moment and fully like develop yeah. it wine is is a start but it's, it's not nice. the 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 end all it's wine plus lifestyle it's we're going to come into your homes we're going to yes. make you comfortable yeah. we're going to party with you we're going to celebrate with mm -hmm. you and that is what our culture in any industry you look at does all aspect, something yeah. all aspects changes it and changes it in a way that everybody wants a part of it mm -hmm. and that has not been done yet in the wine industry yeah. so now you have With Michelle and Nicole you know here starts here to take over the wine industry and put our own little stamp and our sprinkle on it and I think that's what the guilty grape is going to do different it has it's going to have a cultural impact yeah. on on the industry mm -hmm.